In this video, I want to share with you a detailed course to do a German floor here in, I'm actually in Ogombol, Lekki Lagos, and where I'm standing here is a waterlogged area. So that means a lot of consideration was put in here to achieve this, all right? And this German floor I'm talking about is 1.5 meter, sorry, 1.4 meter high. 1.4 meter high. Every course I am giving to you here is accurate because all the money, you know I'm a seller, I'm a realtor, so we sell and also help clients to build. That's why you are seeing me here on site. So all the money actually passes through my account. So I know what I'm giving you, the figures I'm giving you. However, there might be some discrepancy, you know, one or two miscellaneous that I may not capture. So let's jump straight, you know, and have a detailed look um, at this course. All right. And the first course here that we, we, when we started was clearing. This place was, was entirely bush. So the clearing and uprooting of trees, we cleared and uprooted trees. So I'm going to show you the environment so that you see how this place is bushy. The clearing cost about 250000 here, all right, for the clearing and uprooting of the tree or excavation of the trees here. Apart from the clearing, we also did, um, we bought sand. And the trip of sand here, approximately is around 200000 depending where you are taking it to. Some places around 220000 Why some are 190000 depending on the type of sand as well. So we bought about 16 trip of sand here. That one cost us about 200000 times 16. All right, so that is about... Um, Two point, sorry, 3.2 million. 3.2 million era for the sand. 16 trips of sand, all right? Both sharp sand and filling sand. I just get them at that, um, at that price of 200,000. Now, we also bought granite. We bought granite. Three trips of granite was bought here at about 600,000 per trip. And 600,000 times three, that will give you about 1.8 million era. I hope you are putting the pen and calculating all of these figures together. That is exactly what it cost us to do this. So granite cost us 600,000 times three trips. That is 800,000 naira. Forget this accurate figure. I'm telling you about this. Now, we, apart from the granite, we also bought cement. About 330 bags of cement was bought. But you can keep it around that maybe, let's say 300 bags, all right? So that 300 bags here will cost you about 10,500 naira per bag times 300. That gives us um, 3 million, 150,000. Now, apart from... Um, cement that we bought i'm giving you accurate cost now apart from the 300 bags of cement that was required here because of the height of the foundation we also bought um all kinds of uh, you know iron i mean uh, you know 10 mm 12 mm and of course we bought some 16 mm about 5.5 tons we bought about 5.5 ton however let me emphasize because iron you know iron is expensive it is not all the tons of iron that we use here some of the tons of iron are remaining okay about maybe two ton plus or there about are still remaining so the iron is about 5.5 ton which is 1.1 million per ton when you multiply that by 5.5 that will give you um six million fifty thousand all right for the, only the iron six million fifty thousand so of course you know we need marine board just like you can see here uh we <laughs> well done sir so we need marine board as well so marine board here we bought 80 pieces actually we are supposed to need more than that so we did the casting in phases so we bought 80 pieces of marine board and each of the pieces of marine board is 25,000 times 8. So when you multiply 25,000 times 80, that will give you about 2 million naira for only the marine board. We use them in session. We cast, remove and reuse them, all right, to save cost. So we also bought all kinds of wood, name them two by two, one by two, whatever kind of wood. Approximately the wood here, all the wood that we use here cost us about 1.3 million or thereabout. Slightly, might be slightly different, you know about 1.3 million naira or thereabout. Now, of course, you know you need nail, banding, wire. So just budget around 200,000 naira for banding wire and nails and all of those kind of things, all right? So I know the major cost that you may want to know here is the cost of um, labor and sand filling. Of course, you know that we need to pay to carry the sand to fill this foundation here and do the backfilling. The cost is around, uh, because the distance is a bit far, it's around 25 to 30,000, depending on the distance, you know, to use wheelbarrow and carry. So if you multiply that cost, maybe times, because it's 13 trips that actually fill this place, times 13, that gives you about 390,000, all right? 390,000 for the labor to carry sand with wheelbarrow to pour here. That might be different if your distance is shorter, you understand? If it's not too high as well. So take note of all of this. So 30,000 or 25,000, as the case may be, times... 13 trips that will be 390 now what about labor for casting you may want to ask yes as you all know the labor for casting comes in two phases first of all we did the you know the form work round and we casted that 
and as you can see now we are doing the real jammer floor turn the camera this way can you see we are doing the real jammer floor now now all of these costs for labor both for the you know the front work and the real jammer floor that we are doing here will cost you about a million naira or thereabout it will cost you about a million naira for the for the labor for just the casting of this i'm not saying only this one plus the other one or thereabout so budget around this um this amount okay now apart from that we also did uh, uh you know it's a new site actually it's a new site so uh, i'm just reading what we bought here we did a borehole you can see the borehole here we also did a borehole for this type because it's a new site there's no water here at all we did a borehole and of course we bought this uh, gp tank always request for old mole if you're buying gp tank let me just emphasize the other one is cheaper but the old mole is more expensive so plus or minus borehole and uh, the pumping machine and the gp tank you should be looking at around uh, maybe uh, 400 or 450,000 to do all of this. I'm talking about pole, GP tank. We bought a pumping machine. You know that pumping machine that the Starlight Generator? We bought that one too because it's a new site. So that we can use it to work. There's no light here. So that one costs us about 400,000 or thereabout. Now, this place, you cannot start work here at all if you do not settle on Molile. You understand? So apart from the bowl now that costs us that 400,000, we still needed to settle on Molile here. And to be frank with you, the cost of settling them here cost us approximately two million naira. That is the cost. Before you can even start anything at all, you have to settle them here. But if you bought into an estate, you know you may not need to settle all of that kind of cost. You understand? So put this one into. I know before a lot of engineers will come and say, no, you know, rich, you know, rich. These are some of the things that uh, you know made this amount to be a bit higher than some other side that you know you may be working on. So Marilla here cost us about, like I said, about two million naira. Okay. Now, if you put that together, apart from Molile, we also did here yeah, any truck that is coming in, whether you are carrying the sand or you are carrying shafts, you are carrying uh, wood or marine board or whatever you are carrying on this place, the gate here not be small. You must pay money. Different gate, about five gate before you enter this site. You understand? So budget like about two hundred thousand naira to settle all those uh, all those gate fees. You understand? So that one will cost you around that amount, about two hundred thousand naira to settle gate fees. Now apart from that one. You know, we also, uh, there are some other miscellaneous that you may not be able to factor in. For example, we bought Lylon, this DPC Lylon that you see here. We bought Lylon, you know, we bought uh, some other things like that, small, small things that can also be included, like shovel and all of that. So budget like, you know, another maybe uh, 300,000 for such miscellaneous. Do you understand? There are a lot of miscellaneous that come with uh, construction of site like this. So definitely, you know that you must employ the services of a professional. To handle this so our engineer just like i tell you i'm a realtor but we also have, I have a team of engineers that we are helping to build here but all the money passes through so i have record of all of these things so plus or minus supervision fee here will cost between 1.5 to 2 million naira. you understand i'm talking about the professional fee from all of these things i'm talking about if you are not around even if you are around you still have to employ the services of an engineer and that will cost you around 1.5 to 2 million naira. it depends you understand it all depends the time limit depends on the cash available. This work can be done within two months or three months. I'm talking about this foundation. We can be we can be fast about it. But we are not yet done about sand filling this compound. This place is very, very waterlogged. Do you understand? So you have seen all of these costs together. That plus or minus, if you are considering doing a rough foundation of this height in a waterlogged area, we did not do piling here. You should be looking around 24 million naira. See, uh, let me advise you. You can just budget like uh, 24.5. You understand? But it depends. If Omolila is not there, they will not disturb you. That will save you about two million. If Omolila at the gate, the, the entrance gate are not there, that will save you another heavy cost. You understand? So all of these costs, and if your height of foundation is not up to this level, of course, it will save you a lot of money. So approximately, the cost of doing this, you should be looking at around that 20 million to 24 million era if you reside in such waterlogged area and where Omolile. In, where you have to settle on Molile with millions of naira. Do you understand? So if you are watching this or coming across my face for the first time, my name is Benjamin Ali. Apart from helping clients buy land, you know, and selling their property, I also help them with their construction need. Actually, guys, this lab, this very place I'm standing, the owner of this place has not been here. And from the buying of land to the building, we are helping him 24 hours. The only thing we did was to install a camera. You know, I did not put that cost also. Was to install a, a CCTV camera where he can be observing us as we are walking live on his side but everything is going very well so thank you once again you know for always supporting us and for watching our videos we look forward you know to seeing you to hearing more from you give us contract 
Let's transact. We'll help you do business. And you'll be excited that you met us. Once again, subscribe to our channel and bye. Thank you.